Oh my gosh, there's the CARES Act, C-A-R-E-S. There's the E-I-D-L, the E-I-D-L Advance. There's the P-U-A and the P-P-P, and there's a whole bunch more acronyms. So today we're gonna catch our breath and I'm gonna to present to you about 10 of these acronyms and tell you exactly what they mean and what they mean to you and me as rideshare drivers. And stick around, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite uh, acronym today. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater, and uh, we get a lot of questions and there's a lot of confusion about all the different programs and in particular about all the different acronyms. You know, PPP, what exactly does that mean? And what's the difference between EIDL and EIDL Advance? What does EIDL even mean? So we're gonna jump on my computer here. I've made a nice little uh, presentation for you and we're gonna jump in to all of the key um, acronyms and what they mean for you. So let's go. All right, let's start where it started, which is with the CARES Act, the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, also known as the CARES Act. All right, this is where uh, all this money was allocated, like $2 trillion to help out with the uh, pandemic. This was signed into law on March 27th. There's the signing. All right, you can see Dr. Fauci over there on the left, all right? All right. Next, PPPHCEA. Frankly, I had not heard of this one. The Paycheck Protection Program and Health Care Enhancement Act. So this is also known as Round 2. And uh, because some of the programs ran out of money so fast, they had a second bill that added uh, $350 billion okay, to, uh, to add to um, some of the programs. Okay, So there's the first act called CARES, and then there's the second one, which the name isn't as well known, but um, that happened on April 23rd. UI, so you hear UI a lot. That just simply means unemployment insurance. People also recall, refer to it as unemployment benefits, and uh, as it says, it's a type of state-provided insurance that pays out when you lose your job and meet certain eligibility requirements, okay? Um, and typically, Independent contractors, such as you and me, uh, we were not entitled to unemployment insurance, all right? But with the CARES Act was the uh, creation of the PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance. And this is a program that expanded um, unemployment insurance coverage in a lot of different ways. Um, one of the ways was that self-employed workers, freelancers, independent contractors, and part-time workers um, could apply. So this was like... Great. Now, the FPUC, okay, so this is great. The Federal Pandemic Unemployment Compensation. So this is the part of the PUA that says that anybody who's on un unemployment insurance or PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, gets an extra $600 per week for the time frame of March 29th through July 31st. Now, I've been saying that 16 weeks because it's four months, but I looked on my calendar here, right? Went through and figured out and I counted the days, right? Turns out, counted the weeks. It turns out it's 18 weeks. So it's $10,800. And some of us are starting to see the, those funds. Some, some drivers have actually been paid um, some money already. Some drivers like me, I've been approved and I can see it in my account on the, on the computer but I can't, see, I can't see it in my bank account because I don't have the card yet. It did not come yesterday. So FPUC. Now, the PEUC, this is Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation. So this is the part of the, of the uh, act, the PUA, that says instead of getting the normal 26 weeks, we get an extra 13 weeks on top of that for a total of 39 weeks. So again, they're just sweetening the deal because so many people are unemployed and this has been such a devastation for so many people. And they realize 26 weeks probably won't be enough. So they've added, they basically added 50% to it. So now it's a, a total of 39 weeks. All right, I hope you're enjoying the video. Just want to take a minute here to invite you to like it. Just hit that little thumb up. That'll uh, make it easier for other people to see this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe. We put out great content four or five times a week, and definitely turn on notifications. And that way when we do our next YouTube Live, you'll be notified and uh, you won't miss a thing. 
All right, let's get back to the video. Now, the SBA. So the SBA is the United States, the Small Business Administration. And it's kind of like, I think of it as the, the parent company of some of the loan programs. All right, so the money comes from the government, goes into the SBA, and the, the SBA disperses it um, through a couple of different programs. All right, so some of you may be familiar with the SBA because you might have gotten an email uh, over the weekend. And see, it says Small Business Administration. Um, and this was kind of an update if you happen to apply for the EIDL loan, which we're going to get into that in a second. So there it is, the EIDL. EIDL stands for Economic Injury Disaster Loan. EIDL, Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. And it's a loan program. So it can provide up to $2 million of financial assistance, right, uh, for small businesses. And it says private or nonprofit organizations that suffer substantial economic injury um, due to a disaster, and that's what we're experiencing now, is a disaster. Now this then also has a component to it called the EIDL Advance, and that is what all of us have applied for. Um, initially, it was promoted as a $10,000 uh, advance, right? And it's actually a grant, which means if you get it, you don't have to pay it back. Then they changed the rules and they said, we're going to give you $1,000 per employee. Now, for most of us, that's one because we're the only employee. And on Monday, many, many drivers uh, reported to us that they got the $1,000 uh, grant. And that was my, myself included. That's what I found in my bank account this Monday, right, the $1,000 um, advance. So that's pretty great. That's basically uh, free money, and you don't have to worry about paying that back. And if you happen to put 10 employees, you would have gotten $10,000 uh, free and clear, but you would have, probably would have been lying about it. So best you, you're honest and, and put the amount uh, that's accurate for you because uh, you never know who's going to be checking this out years down the road, right? You don't want to be looking over your shoulder. All right, let's move on. PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program. <clears throat> so this is a new loan program that provides loans on behalf of the SBA for small businesses, okay? So it's very much like the EIDL. It's a small business program. Um, but the difference with this one is that it's got this forgivable um, component to it, which means that um, as long as you use the money for certain activities, such as paying payroll, um, then it's forgivable, meaning you don't have to pay it back. Now, for most of us, if we were to get this loan, we would just you know, write a check to ourselves and boom, that's paying payroll and we wouldn't have to pay the money back. It says in the bottom paragraph here, the amount that is forgiven will be determined by the amount borrower spends during the eight week period um, on payroll, uh, interest, rent, and utilities with no more than 25% of the loan amount spent on non-payroll costs. So as long as you just cut yourself a check for the full amount, you're not gonna have to pay that one back, okay? So that's the... Um, Paycheck Protection Program, um, the PPP. And uh, to apply for that, um, I have recommended a company called Lendio. Okay, and you can apply for that right now. You go to Lendio.com. Um, Lendio is what's called a fintech company. And these fintech companies, you don't have to have a previous relationship with them. And they will submit your application through um hopefully for you to get approved. And basically you're looking at getting two and a half times your monthly payroll. So two and a half times what you normally would make um, in a month based on last year. Okay, so that's uh, the PPP. The EDD, so you've heard me say EDD quite a bit because I'm in California and you're wondering what's EDD? Because in your state it's probably called something different. But our EDD is the Employment Development Department. The EDD, it's the California uh, Department, and it handles all of the unemployment insurance benefits and now also the PUA, okay? So when you see me go to this website um, to show you things, you see up there in the corner, EDD, Employment Development Department. That's a California department which handles uh, unemployment. All right, I promised you my favorite acronym, and I've already shown it to you. But it's the FPUC, right? The Federal Pandemic Unemployment Compensation. And why is that my favorite? Well, I circled it in red there. $10,800. That's 
pretty great. That's the most likely money I'm going to get um, because it's just unemployment. And um, it all seems to be working through the system. And a lot of drivers are starting to get the unemployment money. The EIDL, great. We got $1,000. The PPP, that's a shot in the dark. Uh, this one looks pretty solid, and that's a pretty that's five figures. You know that's that's great, and that's on top of a weekly amount, which varies by state. In California, that the minimum is 167, and that's where we're all starting. Uh, but the 600 a week for 18 weeks is pretty pretty sweet deal. All right, so there you are. You're up to date on all the acronyms. So what are the key takeaways? Knowledge is good. It's good to understand all these things and eliminate a lot of the confusion. Uh, if you still have questions, you know, put them in the comments below. And again, be, be sure and share your successes. We love to hear how drivers are getting some of this money from the government. All right, y'all go out and have a great day. If you've not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe, give this a like, it'll help more people to see the video. Um, join our team. We put out like four to five videos a week, all for rideshare drivers. Y'all go out and have a great day, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.